Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. So as you could tell by the title of my video, uh, today we are going to be talking about something super exciting, boob jobs. More specifically, my boob job. As of March 26th, I am the owner of 350 cc's of silicone goodness in each boobie. A lot of people um, like to ask why I got this surgery. So I've been thinking about doing this surgery for the past two years, more seriously in the past year, just because uh, I've been working out, I've been trying to lean and cut and tone myself out for the summer and in that process I realized that I was already 32A and my boobs just decided to shrink even smaller than that so I was actually at a point where I was just wearing sports bras or just not wearing any bras at all and that was okay for me. I mean, I love my body. I love everything about it, but there was just something I felt that was missing. So I did go ahead and decide to go forward with the consultation. I went to uh, the D Dakota Dunes and actually did a consultation out there. I had my first consultation. Um, before this, I have loaded up. I had loaded up on so many YouTube videos, did my research on uh, surgeries, sizes, and everything. So I had gone in with a, the mindset that I was going to get 350 cc's. That was already pre-planned. Um, I felt like with my research and with my height and everything like that, that that was just going to be the most proportionate size. Um, going in to my first consultation. It wasn't really what I expected. Um, it was kind of rushed. The doctor kind of just agreed with me and just said, okay, we're gonna do your surgery this day. And the way that they charged was a little bit different. I noticed that it was a lot more expensive than it was in a different city. So I actually decided to go ahead and set up another consultation, my second consultation um, in the second city, which is Omaha, Nebraska. I set it up at Westfield Plastic Surgery Clinic with Dr. Ayub. Um, his staff, his nurses were so sweet, Amber and Audrey. Um, they made me feel comfortable. They helped me in deciding in size. Uh, so what they actually did was they had the bras where you could actually fit the sizers that your silicone implants in there and just take a mere look of what it would look like roughly with a, you know, just bra on. Um, another thing that they did was like a simulation where they kind of put that size on you in a simulation after taking your pictures and it kind of showed you a rough, you know, picture or image of what you were going to look like at the end. Honestly, went in with the idea that I wanted 350 cc's. I did get 350 cc's. This specific clinic only went by 50 cc's, so it was either 300, 350, or 400. The 400 I felt like was going to be so huge, so I didn't even try it on. Uh, the number just intimidated me. Um, so I decided to just go ahead and try on the 300 and the 350 cc. So the 300 definitely did not fill my boob correctly. There was a lot of open space and you could tell right away that it was like an implant in the bra and then so I decided to go ahead and slide on the 350 cc's. This one fit a lot better. It just molded the shape um, perfectly. I felt like it looked natural. It felt natural. They didn't feel heavy or overwhelming. So 350 cc's is what I did decide to go with. I would have offered like in 25 increments. I definitely would have gotten 375. 400 number was still too intimidating. So we just decided to stay away from that. All right, so the night before surgery, I was actually not supposed to have anything after midnight. So my surgery was scheduled at 8.15 on March 26th. Uh, we went ahead and got to the hospital at eight o'clock. They got me in at 8.15 to the back room to get me ready and prepped for surgery. The first thing that they did was they actually took another P-test uh, just to make sure that everything was good. Uh, there was no pregnancies, there was no infection, uh, because if so they will postpone the surgery uh, even if you have just anything okay just a uh, sign a cold anything they will postpone it so be aware of that um, let's see uh, before surgery they also put me in these wraps that I will show you in a small clip that's gonna come up next they actually just put these around my calves they were meant to massage my legs so that there was uh, it's just to avoid any blood clots or anything like that and before I went into surgery they actually gave me some Tylenol uh, they said it was gonna help just relax me and help me get to sleep a little bit better so the anesthesiologist came in and one question that I did have for him was uh, waking up during surgery he did 
reassure me that um, I was going to be hooked up to a brain monitor and they did hook me up to a brain monitor that was going to just make sure that I was under fully um, not being awake during surgery so that was just a concern it was a concern in the back of my head uh, but we got past that going into surgery the last thing i literally remember was him asking me what i was gonna have for lunch and i was out like a light okay it is now nine o'clock i have my iv put in uh they have this machine that's connected to my legs um like to the calf area that's supposed to help just circulate like help with blood circulation so i don't get any blood clots or anything like that i'm kind of nervous um, but I'm excited. Um, Dr. Ao will be here in a second to give us a rundown of what's going to happen. <laughs> Alright, so what he did was he actually sketched out what he's planning on doing here, I believe. He said that my muscle attaches, so the muscle attaches across here, so he's actually going to just cut it to loosen it up, up until where this X is. And then he just kind of planned out, he said I'm pretty symmetrical, so he just planned out where everything was going to go, where he was going to make cuts. So I just got out of surgery. I look nasty, busted, and disgusted, but my hair looks good because Ramon totally is a pro at doing buns in my hair. <laughs> Not a lot of pain. They gave me two hydrocodons, um, one a little bit after my surgery and then another one if I still continue to feel pain. Um, there's a lot of pressure on the top part of my boots. <laughs> um, so this is kind of what they look like right now. They have a camisole on, which will come up here. It's Velcro. So it actually comes off. I am. I have to keep this on for 48 hours, and then afterwards I can shower, remove any bandages, and uh, just just recover normally. So I'm kind of excited to see what they look like. Right. Ladies and gents, it is day number two from surgery. Today I'm feeling a lot of swelling, definitely up top here, a lot of pressure down at the bottom, probably where that scar is. Um, this side is definitely more swollen than this side, but nothing to worry about. He said that was normal. Each one's going to heal differently. It is day number three after surgery. This is what they look like. They're still a bit swollen, definitely still up to my chest. Um, today I'm in a lot of pain under, I woke up with so much soreness under my arm here, coming around the breast implant here and up and around. I can't even like lift my arms up, it hurts so bad. Um, this is definitely the most pain I've been in um, throughout the three days. Uh, I haven't taken a hydro yet just because they make me feel like complete shit and I just don't want to feel like shit right now, but I think I'm going to have to. So this hydro definitely kicked in because I'm still sore, but sore to a point where I can kind of be mobile a little bit because I don't feel as much pain right now. I actually like to take my own fingers, I take my two fingers, and I'll actually massage the implant right at the top because it's actually where the most pain is. It's oh, massage right. right there, and another place that I will commonly massage is maybe this back area and the top area here as well, which is kind of... Stick my fingers in there, go in circular motions. Massaging is really good for the implants. It actually helps them settle down a little bit faster. So anytime you get a chance to play with your girls, make sure you take that chance. All right, so the third and the fourth day definitely were the worst days of my surgery recovery. I did feel a lot of pain in my muscles. It felt like a fork had been stabbed in each side and just mangled and everything. And there was just so much pressure all around this area. Um, so once you get past those two days, um, I did have to go back to my hydros. Keep in mind, I did only take one hydro each day just because going into the second hydro, you're definitely going to need that Zofran that they prescribed to you because that it's so hard on your stomach. Like it is ridiculous. Okay. Going into that week, uh, your breast implants start to drop so mine actually started to drop a little bit into the nipple area into the nipple area hurts so much okay because you are stretching it is stretching it is not used to that if you haven't had any kids or anything like that so just be aware of that um nipping when it's cold is the worst Pain, okay everything contracts together and it feels like a bunch of little stabbing needles are going into your nipples and it is crazy but other than that I have no complaints my girls are amazing I am happy with the um, outcome of the entire
guys so today is officially the second week post-surgery this is what the girls are currently looking like this one is definitely healing a lot better than this one over here um, there's still a little bit of pain when it comes to the nipple area but other than that the suture is a little bit itchy procedure um, it is my third week currently um, I actually have started to go back to the gym feel good going to the gym I do light leg workouts not lifting anything over you know more than I can feel like I can handle uh, taking it easy just making sure that I'm eating right making sure I'm drinking a lot of water another thing that I forgot to mention um, when you get out of surgery you actually are prescribed antibiotics that you have to take 14 days um, you know after your surgery so I had to take four capsules each day for 14 days and what that actually does is just help the body not reject your breast implants so that is another thing um, just a different part of the medication quick how I this so what it is it's just like a velcro band and he just told me to keep it on let's keep it off for 48 hours but it's okay for you to remove tighten so I'm just making it tighter, just making sure that everything's staying in place. Make sure that everything feels comfortable and snug. I definitely don't want these moving around. So yeah, keep you updated. This is how high they are. They're like up to my neck. Okay. Um, I like to apply the ice directly on top and then I'll just kind of transition from going to the top and then go to the bottom and the sides and I'll ice the sides for about five minutes each, five to 10 minutes each. And just to make sure that I'm getting the swelling to go down as much as possible, making sure that there's not as much pressure in those areas. Ice is your best friend when it comes to the swelling of your breast implants. Massaging it. A week into my surgery, he did teach me how to massage my breast implants so that they could stay in the pockets that he had made for them. So I'm gonna go ahead and demonstrate that with you. I'm just gonna go ahead and start here. You wanna start at the nipple area, you know, push up, okay? And then one other thing you can do is push together. What that does is actually helps keep your implants in the pockets that they made just so that they stay perkier, they stay closer together. Uh, doing that just helps loosen them up and just position a lot better. So I have felt so much better since then. Um, I was able to move my arms immediately after that, moving forward. And since then, I've just felt good. Uh, I do keep up with those massages every day. You definitely will feel the tenderness over here if you don't. Uh, all right, so that is the end of my video. Thank you guys so much for you know tuning in, um, getting to know me a little bit better, getting to know about this surgery. For those of you who are wanting you know to just enhance something or change something about yourself, don't be scared. Don't listen to other people's opinions. Do what you feel like you need to do to make yourself feel more confident, more happy with yourself. Believe me, I loved myself before, loved my body before, but doing this just made me feel like a better version of myself so I'm not telling you guys to go get plastic surgery not trying to influence anybody but I'm just here to provide knowledge on you know what the surgery is going to be like the healing process the pain everybody's healing process is going to be different um, everybody's sizing is going to be different everybody's body type is different okay for example if I were a couple inches taller and my body frame was a bit wider I definitely would have gotten a 400 I believe that that probably would have fit my frame. Um, I am 5'2", so I am 5'2", going into surgery. I was 115 pounds, so I did go ahead and feel like the 350 cc's, uh, maybe 375 fit my body frame just way better. Definitely would not go any higher than that. Um, when you do get plastic surgery, you can breastfeed regularly. So the breast implant is actually going under the muscle. So all of your um, milk duds, everything is actually sitting on top of the silicone implant. So you actually can breastfeed normally and everything like that when it comes you know, to that time. Um, uh, make sure you guys do your research. Make sure you guys, you know, 
um, try on sizes, make sure you go to several consultations, make sure that you guys are really thinking about this surgery, taking it seriously, not just going in and saying, okay, I wanna put this in there and call it good, okay? Thank um, you guys so much for tuning into my channel to watching my video today. I hope that I could provide anybody that wanted some knowledge on this specific uh, plastic surgery that I could answer some questions for you. If you guys have any more questions, feel free to comment down below. Uh, hit the subscribe button. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Bye.